Hey everyone, I wanted to take a moment to show some new nodes that are in rhythm. As of right now, uh, these nodes relate to creating floors and ceilings with the API, specifically multi-loop floors or rooms. So in this example, we're just going to collect all the rooms in our little sample model that I have open, and then we'll be able to extract their boundaries. So we have three rooms in this model. We'll get their finish boundary, and then we can see that we have a list of lists, which represents the boundaries, of course. Using some of the new API methods available to us in Revit 22, we can actually create ceilings for the first time ever. Uh, we can also create floors by multiple curve loops. So we'll see that we also have a node for getting default floor types. So given a floor type, a level, and a list of curves, we can now create a floor with a multi-loop sketch. And we can see that in my 3D view currently. So we have a total of three different floors, which represent the three different rooms. Some of those are, quote, donut shaped as well. So we were able to create those. We also are able to do this for the first time with ceilings. So this will take a list of lists once again, and it can do donut shaped or just one rectangular shape or whatever for a ceiling. Uh, so very similar, we do have those ceilings getting created in the same way as the floors. This also has element binding within it, so if you change anything with the rooms and hit run again, the ceilings and floors will update accordingly as well. So there it is, check out the notes now for Revit 22 in Rhythm.